insurance company is gonna be like, nope. Hey friends, insurance is for accidents. You know what isn't an accident? How great you look today. <laughs> that was not an accident, that's true. But I was thinking matching glasses. That was not an accident. Yes, it was. Well, you picked yours out and then you picked mine out. So it makes sense that you would pick <laughs> similar glasses. I had no choice in this matter. Lies. All right, Shreya, listen up. Listen to this. Yeah. I was listening to another attorney present and he was talking about insurance being for accidents. Yeah. And so we talk about this ourselves, but you know, we're always telling people, yeah, insurance is the first stop, but there's all these exemptions in your policy. And if you read mm -hmm. through it, there's all these situations in which the insurance company won't pay your claim. Oh my gosh, that's so true. I never thought about the biggest exemption of all from insurance. That's why I loved that this attorney put it that way. Insurance is only for accidents. All of the exemptions that you look at in your policy are for mm -hmm. things that are not accidents, like you know something you did intentionally, um, something that involves some sort of fraud or like, you know, they don't consider it an accident if you were just like so willy nilly yeah. in your considerations that you know, it's, it's like, you're dumb. It was yeah. your fault. And most of our clients are good people. It's not like they, they may not have necessarily intended mm -hmm. to do something fraudulent or neglectful, but they're busy. Yeah. And they can't do everything on their own, but maybe they tried. Mm -hmm. And that's when things can go wrong. This is a true statement. And I forgot what I was going to say after you. I was just sitting here holding it in, like but it's a good, fart. like a fart. <laughs> we don't have that kind of talk on here, Shreya. Sorry. <laughs> Car insurance for accidents. It doesn't cover you if you're like drunk driving. Malpractice. It's like, you know, it's a screw up. Not if you like intentionally did something wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. Are we getting the point across? Yeah, but I'm trying to think of like an accident that people can make easily. Oh, that's that's actually great. Stay tuned for or tomorrow's accident. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. We're gonna talk about a great example of this. So hold your horses on that, Shreya. We'll chat All right. about it. All right, great. We're spinning out of control. No, Shreya, what you're saying is that yes, our clients, you viewer, are a good person. If somebody claims that something wasn't an accident, that it was negligence or fraud or something, it, it might not necessarily mean that you actually did that. It's just what the other side is saying and they are free to do so. They're free to say anything they want in our court system and then it's up to you to defend it. But if they've made that claim that something wasn't an accident, then you're gonna be in a tough spot because your insurance company is gonna be like, nope. Not for me, you're on your own on this one. So keep that in mind. Insurance is for accidents. It is the first stop for your asset protection planning, but it can't be your only stop. You gotta have- No, no, no. A plan B, a backup plan, mm -hmm. something after that first level of insurance. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. If you really enjoyed it, hit that like button <laughs> and stay tuned for our next videos. Tomorrow we'll be chatting about an example about what we just talked about. Thanks Shreya for joining me. Thanks Colin for joining her. <laughs> I can say thanks and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.